everybody. We hope you've had a fantastic Easter holiday and maybe completed some of the challenges we've set you. Uh, welcome back to English Martyrs at Home uh, as we head into the new Pentecost term. We've had lots of fun ideas to keep you learning uh, while hopefully still enjoying yourself. We updated the website with some new work to keep you busy for the next fortnight. As well as the topic things on there, you'll be able to find some maths ideas for each day for the next two weeks. Do feel free to send us any questions. If you are struggling, please do not sit and struggle on your own at home. We're still here to help you and to support you, so please get in touch. We'd also love to see any finished pieces of work that you do as you go through. For RE, we've put together some scripture story activities for you to have a go. We've also put some work together for the next RE topic, which will require some of your own research, but some of your previous knowledge from Pentecost a few years ago. It isn't too tricky, but if you need any help, please email us and we'll support you as best we can. Now, for literacy, history, geography, science, art, music, we thought it'd be more fun to give you a bit more free reign. Uh, therefore, we've put together a topic sheet for you. This is full of ideas of different topics that you might want to research. Now, we want this to be something that you are passionate about, something that you enjoy or that you want to learn more about, something that you might not have had the chance to learn about at school in our school topics. It can be anything. The list we've given you are just some ideas to spark your imagination. Uh, we'll ask you to put together a project based on different topics every two weeks. So if you've got more than one idea, that's great. Save one of them for the next fortnight. Now, the topic that you choose should allow you to use some of the skills that you would have been using in the classroom. So you need to look carefully at the skill sheet that we've given you. For your project, you need to choose at least three subjects that you can tick off a skill for. Now, this might sound a little bit complicated, so we're going to show you some of the projects that we've had a go at, and we're going to explain to you how we put them together. Now, this is on our next video, so please go and give it a watch. <laughs> 